Hello and welcome to another 3D printing video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys a model that I recently made and I also printed. So here is the model. It's a little bit of background on this guy. Um, my dad recently got a VR for his birthday, the HTC Vive, and he was looking around. He really wanted a modeling software because we have 3D printers. We want to be able to make things that we can print. And it's something that'd be different than doing it just with a computer and a mouse. So he looked around and he found one, and it was free actually, so he downloaded the software, and the first day that he got it, I I hopped on when he left the house, he let, said we can use it and stuff. And so I got on, and I sculpted this guy. It took under two hours, I think, and my goal was just to make something really freaky that you would not want to see chasing you in the dark. And I think I, I successfully did that. It crawls on its fingers, um... And it has weird looking arms and it doesn't look like it has any skin. Um, so I posted this on Thingiverse as a challenge to see if anyone could actually print it. No one um, has posted a make of it because that's not very common that, for people to do. But I did decide that I could try printing it myself. So my dad has um, the SLA printer, the Cubic Photon. And so we took it and we turned it upside down. And added supports and printed it about 28 millimeter scale and it we printed it last night and it came out successful this morning so it has supports i'm going to cut those off and then i'm going to cure it and then paint it and see how it turns out as you can see from right here we have the little guy printed and he's got a lot of supports and so you can look and see his arms under there in there and his little fingers sticking up in the air so my goal will be to pull those supports off before I cure it because I'm going to do that because it's softer now before it's cured and it'll become a pretty brittle after it's been in the sun. Um, so I'll do that and show you guys how it turns out. Okay, so I, oh, that ain't right. He's sitting on his butt. I pulled the support material off and this is what I have been left with. Um, I did break off one of his back toes you can see right there right at the corner um but that's no problem i don't know what this creature has been doing to lose a toe but it seems that if this is a creature that actually existed he would have a hard time keeping his toes so i pulled the sport off i'm going to paint it now i'm going to do a skin color coat and then I'm going to try to do a wash, a darker, maybe brownish, maybe red wash on this to see what I can get to turn out. Then after that, I'm probably going to do a clear coat and see if that works. I haven't done anything like that before, but with the washes, I use acrylic paint on top of the enamel paint. And so it rubs off, it washes off really easy. So I'd like to coat that and so I'm going to keep it on there. Um, I haven't looked anything up. I haven't done anything besides thinking about it and that's my guess and I'm gonna try that and see if it works okay so I painted it I took the creature and I did a, uh, a tan colored paint coat over the whole model and then after that I took some brown red and black acrylic paint some old stuff some new stuff mixed it together with some water and a little bit of dish soap and it, some stuff separated so I put some uh, alcohol in it, some 99% isopropyl alcohol into the mix because I've read that somewhere. But anyway, it didn't really, some parts were separated, but I used it anyway because it was still watered out paint in certain areas. You just mix it up and then use it. So I had my skin ish colored um, creature, and then I took my watered out paint and I coated the top and outside of him. So here is what he looks like. So there he is. He is a dirty looking um, monster that would probably eat you if it was big enough to. Um, I did end up breaking off 13 of his bottom toes and I might break the rest of them off on purpose to make it kind of look more like paws rather than toes because um, the resin is that after it cures it's very brittle. There, it needs to be more rubbery or more absorbent in order to work well and we don't have that type of resin with us. Um, we'd have to order that special and it might take extra print settings to try to get that to print successfully. So this is all we have right now and it works well for the most part besides printing tiny toes 
which are so tiny they, they shouldn't work anyway. Um, I did not do a glossy cover coat because I figured um, if it rubs off, that's fine. Um, I could just paint it again if I wanted to. Um, you can see the detail on the bottom a lot better with the um, with the wash in there. You can see his toes. Oops, I just chucked him on the floor again. Oh man, he did not lose any more toes, thankfully. But um, I print, I paint, printed him, painted him. He's done. Um, we might add him to Zombicide, add a card, add a character, play him on that game, use it for D and D if we ever do. Anyway. The print is done. I painted it. I am satisfied. I could have put a little bit more work into taking off the supports. Um, you can see these little bumps that don't look like they should be there on the top of his arms and the back. Those are from the support, um, which I could have done if I had a razor, a better X-Acto knife with me. But I didn't. I decided it's texture. It'll be good on the character. Um, yeah, so that's that. If you want to download the design, I have the model, it's on Thingiverse, I have a link in the description, you can check there. Um, you can check out all my other models, which I have added some other virtually sculpted models on my Thingiverse. You can check out, download, print for yourself, or you can ask me to print one of the other ones, and I might just do that. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.